On the Ground, presented by The Cube. Here's your host, John Furrier. Hello everyone, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. We are on the ground in Seattle for IBM's Open Computing Architecture Summit. And here with Kim Banner with Blue Box, acquired by IBM. Welcome to our on the ground segment. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you too. So obviously we've been big fans of Blue Box prior to the IBM acquisition because Jesse and you guys did such a great job and, and very relevant now. And I, what, what's the update? Now that you're inside IBM, are you been accepted in? Have you been blue washed? Are you operating separately? How is it working? Explain to the folks watching. Right. what the update is. So I've known Jesse for a couple years and because of the IBM acquisition, it was an interesting thing for me to join. Um, and so things have been great. We did transfer business in May. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that, I'm sure I am. Um, and now we're at IBM Blue Box, so we're in product inside of IBM Cloud. And so a lot of uh, of what we're building on top of that is going to be uh, have Blue Box underneath it, which is fantastic. And so a dedicated and a local option, um, so truly, uh, a lot of good times going on. But, um, so integration in terms of the teams, is, what does that mean? For, does it mean now you're in all the systems? Yep. Is it product integration across yep. different groups? What specific? Earlier this year, so we did uh, two big releases back in November, and then right after that we got to work in January of realigning all of our groups inside, uh, of Blue Box inside of IBM, and so we're truly all uh, reporting through to other great people inside of IBM Cloud and, and get a lot done, so. so. You just had a big, you had a big presence at uh, DockerCon, which we were just broadcasting live to. How does Blue Box and IBM fit into that context? Because there was conversations between IBM as a unified message, but where does Blue Box fit in there? So Blue Box is really um, the underpinnings of a lot of the IBM cloud strategy, and that's what got me excited to join IBM um, and Blue Box, obviously. Um, so we are um, the IaaS and then based on OpenStack, and so I'm a huge uh, proponent of open source and uh, enterprise customers are my also a huge passion for me. That's my background, and so it fit really nicely. And so what are some things you're working on right now at, uh, at Blue Box and IBM? Um, so we're working on a lot of uh, customer POCs, uh, which have gone fantastic, and our advocate team is, is great about that, truly hands-on, um, getting in front of customers. Um, we're also speaking at a lot of conferences, so if you see anybody on my team, nine times out of 10, they're not going to be in their home city. <laughs> so talk, talk about, for a minute, I want you to share the kind of engagements that you guys have with customers, because with the open source component, it isn't your normal corporate kind of supplier relationship. There's a lot of collaboration involved. How do you guys support, how do you engage with the customers, and how do ultimately they get the solutions to market? Gotcha. Um, so we're integrated pretty well, um, and we work really closely with our offering management, our product teams inside of um, IBM, but we really go out there and listen and bring back, and we are the customer advocate our team is, to bring back you know, the, the types of things they want to see in the roadmap or the types of things they'd love to, to be able to play with and do, and so we try to help them with that. And headcount in terms of team growth, have you guys had some growth there? Yeah, I mean, when uh, Blue Box was acquired, I think we were right at 60, and now we're way over 120 now, um, and still growing, so right. it's pretty exciting. So talk about this open compute architecture summit here this here at IBM 7. What is this all about? Oh gosh, we wanted to bring in some of the greatest minds uh, in the community to uh, really uh, have a conversation with our customers and let have it be less of a product pitch about IBM, but more about how invested we are into open source. And I tell you, John, I wouldn't be here if we weren't fully in. And, and it's a great time to be at IBM, I have to say. Yeah, Angel's fantastic, I just uh, interviewed him, and we've been following IBM yeah, Cloud, I've seen you guys as well. As It's exciting because it's a new generation of delivery, but also technologies there, and there's a huge tsunami of new opportunities like IoT, mobile, and certainly Docker brings the application piece to it. So that's cool, mm -hmm. but still, stuff has to run under the hood, and it's still got to be done in the open. So what are you finding from customers as they scratch their head and saying, okay, I buy open source, I know IBM's had a lot of presence there, but I still want to be agile, but I don't want stuff to break. I still got to operate this stuff. I still got, I'm not going to reduce my SLAs. Right. So I want good SLAs, I want good operations, what are they? What, what are they asking for? What do so you? What do you hear? Perfect questions for that. Um, so Blue Box, um, as you know, is is. Uh private cloud as a service, and so it's based on OpenStack. We've had so many customers try to work with OpenStack and in OpenStack, and they failed, right? It's not very easy to manage at scale in some of these larger customers, and so they come to us and say, we love the agility, we love to be able to scale it, um, can you help us with that? And so that's where we fit, so it's a perfect fit. Can you give an example of someone who's helped, or you don't have to name companies, but like the situation and where it worked for them? Yeah, um, so gosh. Who do I want to pick? <laughs> um, pick your so, favorite. Yeah, so a gaming company as an example, you know, they really wanted the speed and the ease of, of uh, 
the ease of use and speed and um, they didn't want to manage it themselves and they had data that they needed to, to make sure that didn't get out to the general public and so private cloud was something that they had messed around with a little bit in the past and you know it didn't really work that well and so they came to Blue Box and said hey can you help us with this and so they wanted to be an open stack without having to be a cloud company and so they're really focused on what they can do. I was talking with Mariana Tesla last night um, who was the now running strategy at Docker. She was VP of engineering. And we we're talking about the choices now out there for developers, certainly mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of young and, and old, old school guys like me, but the reality is there's so much stuff. How do you talk about that with people and say, which groups to join, how do they engage, how does someone figure out where to play in the open source community? Is there best practices in terms of looking for things like, do I want to join that group, should I join OpenStack, what about this, and love this WISC thing, but uh, you know, people might need some navigation. Right, definitely. What's your thoughts? What I'm finding is, um, so I've, I've been running technical user groups for years and we run uh, Cloud Foundry and uh, I love that IBM was involved in Cloud Foundry and, and obviously OpenStack as well. I always tell folks, you know, come to a meetup, you know, we'll go with you, you know, get to, get to know the community, that kind of thing. And that's the best way to really learn. Uh, a lot of people don't learn by reading release notes or reading GitHub notes inside of an open repository. Um, I think that you've got to talk to other people who are using it and that's the best way. And get a feel for who's in the community. Absolutely. Right? I mean, that's where you, the meetups give you an immersion and you have people, right? Yeah. It's not just faceless, you know, usernames inside of GitHub, right? So that's why I always tell people. Okay, so I got to ask final question. What are you most excited about right now in the in the industry and in open source in general? What's what is really? Um, I'm excited about everything. <laughs> <laughs> is there a top three top favorite child? I mean, come on, you have to. Um, I really love what we're doing with the IBM Container Engine. I learned more about it this week at DockerCon than I'd ever known before, and so I'm really curious to see um, what our customers think. So. Kim, thanks so much for sharing some time with us here in theCUBE on the Ground. This is CUBE on the Ground. I'm John Furrier here in Seattle with IBM's Open Compute Architecture Summit. Thanks for watching.